week doing some samples for my autumn winter collection. I filmed a little bit of the behind the scenes but I mostly did it for TikTok so I can't really use the videos on YouTube because they're all in portrait rather than landscape and I film on my phone. But I am hoping to do more behind the scenes this week for YouTube so that I can just put it into a longer format. It's Thursday afternoon, I've just been sewing some April tops for the markets, I've still got a few to do but I just need to top up on those for this week. It's been pretty slow lately, so I have kind of got a lot of stock made up. I've still been topping up where I need to, but I don't really have to smash out a heap, which is also kind of a good thing because I haven't really ordered more fabric yet. I'm still waiting on the black linen to come in stock, which is supposed to be the middle of April. So anything that needs black linen, I've just kind of, been avoiding doing for the market so then if I get an order that requires black linen I can just use what I have left over otherwise anything out of that I'll have to kind of put it on hold until mid-April which is a little bit stressful. I have a shoot tomorrow morning with Natalie she's done one with me before um, we just did like April maxi dresses and the Isla sets they were the last ones that we did together but tomorrow we're going to be doing some content for the Daria dress, April top, and probably the Harper sets. Just because I don't have a lot of content of those, and also I really need some new content. I've continuously been posting the same thing for the last couple of months. I haven't really updated anything. Besides the shoot that I did with Sam where I got some of the April Maxi dress in the chocolate colour, but I don't have any more of that fabric. I still have to wait to order more of that. It's on back order. Um, it's all just, everything's really annoying. It's frustrating. Everything's kind of catching up now though. For the rest of the day, I'm just going to quickly iron those pieces, just organize what I need to do for tomorrow. I'm just going to have like a picnic basket, a book, like some film camera, that sort of thing. Just a normal setup, I guess. I always kind of do a picnic sort of vibe. And again, it's down at the beach, but this time I'm going to Point Cartwright instead. So we're using like the rock wall there kind of thing, which I haven't used before, but I think during sunrise, it'll be really nice. But I'm going to be taking and using my good camera because I've had this for so long and I just never use it. And I kind of frustrated by it because it's an expensive camera and it just kind of sits collecting dust. I used it at my shoot that I did with Sam and the photos turned out pretty good. Um, I just need to like kind of have a fiddle around with the settings and um, editing and everything. And I think I'll be a lot better with taking photos eventually. <laughs> this one's just a Canon 600D. I've had this since I was like 16, so it's almost 10 years old. Oh my gosh, it's like eight years old. Wow, I've had this for a long time. Um, and then the lenses I just use, I got it as a kit, so I haven't really used this lens before. Um, it's more of like a long distance lens, but I'm going to maybe give it a go tomorrow. Um, and then that's just the normal standard one that it comes with as well. So I'm just going to use that tomorrow. I'm also going to use a film camera. I'm actually going to go grab it now to show you. So this one I'm very excited about. It's my mum's old film camera. And I've been using it a little bit lately just like to test it out and get a hang of using film. So this one is a Pentax Zoom 90WR. It's really nice. I haven't seen how the photos 
<laughs> I haven't seen how the photos develop on it yet though. So I have a roll of film in there that I need to get developed and I have another roll um, that I also need to get developed. It's just sitting in the fridge. I'm gonna do some more film on this camera and then get all three of the film that I have done developed. I don't know what's on that first roll. Actually, this one's kind of just like random stuff. I was just testing it out. I took it when um, I went to catch up with friends on the weekend and just used it there. And this one, which I used at my last shoot with Sam, um, is my broken-ish one. It works. I had the film developed from that shoot and because it's my first time doing film, I didn't really know kind of what to do and like what to look for when buying film. So I had a chat with someone recently and um, he told me kind of about the, I think it's like iOS, like the brightness level, I guess, of film. I need to look more into it. I used a Kodak film for it and I think the iOS was too bright and all of the film photos just ended up being very bright. So some of them turned out really nice and then some of them were either really blurry or just really heavily exposed. Um, so I can't really use those which kind of sucks but also I wasn't too concerned about it because it was my first time doing it and I had no idea what I was doing I just kind of winged it but it was good to get an idea um, for what to do with this I won't be using it for this shoot though because I have this one and I want to test to see how these photos turn out my mum also has um, another I think it's SLR film camera I think that's how you say it I'm not too sure SR film camera by Nikon I think or maybe it's a Canon, I can't remember. But she had to go get that fixed. So she has it with her um, and I don't currently have it. So I'll use that on another shoot. I'd like to test it out so that I can use it for a bigger shoot that I'm gonna do for my autumn winter collection. That's kind of the reason that I am practicing doing all of the photography now because I really want to do it for the autumn winter collection. It just saves me a bit of money, um, don't get me wrong, I love working with my photographer Jess, she does an incredible job and I'm, you know, I'd love to work with her again, but um, the location that I want to use is a little bit more expensive and I'm also thinking of hiring a model that's signed to an agency and they're also more expensive, so the price just kind of keeps going up with that, so I was thinking just to kind of save costs that I would just do it myself and then also I would have a little bit more control of the photos I guess that I'd be doing. Yeah there's nothing against Jess or anything I love the work that she does but it's just a money thing at the moment I just want to save some money and also I have a camera like I need to use it I have film cameras now like I should use them um, and I really want to just try and extend my knowledge in photography I'm not great at it but We'll get there, we'll get there. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna spend the rest of the day ironing these pieces out and then just organize stuff for the shoot tomorrow and then I have to work tonight. So that'll be fun. It's like 9.30 now, so I am pretty tired. I just went down to Malulaba after the shoot to go for a swim and have some breakfast. Yeah, I'm really happy with how a lot of the photos turned out from what I've seen. They look really nice. I still have to go and get the film photos developed, but I'm going to do that later on today. I'm going to spend the rest of today just finishing off those pieces for tomorrow um, for the market and then editing some of those photos. Oh, sneaky little baby. I also found this shell today when I was at the beach with Nat and look how cool it is. I'm going to add it to my collection of shells. I've just spent probably the last hour editing a few photos. I'm so happy with how they've turned out. They look so good. Some of them do look a bit funny though, but that's totally fine. I'm still honing in on my photography skills. 
but I am so proud with how the majority of these look. They look incredible. Matt did such a good job and I dare say so myself, I did a good job. I'm just going through and changing a couple of things on the settings. So all I'm really doing is adjusting the exposure, the contrast, and then going in with like a darker shadow. I'm also changing the saturation on the ones that were done when it was more bright outside because the ones that were done um, earlier in the morning where it was a little bit more darker, I love how those turned out. So I kind of want to have it all sort of flowing into the same sort of direction. So they're all that sort of darker tone. I'm so in love with these photos and I'm so happy with how they've turned out. Um, I wish I did get a few more videos on my phone um, and some more like live photos because the live photos I can turn into videos or reels um, on Instagram. I didn't get as many as I thought I did but that's fine. I have heaps to use and I want to do more smaller shoots like this just using pieces that I already have rather than you know creating new pieces. It's just after 12 o'clock now and I'm gonna go to the camera house and get my film developed and hopefully they turn out really good. I haven't tested this camera before yet so I really hope that the photos turned out good. Some of them will probably be a little bit choppy just because it's my first time using the Pentax camera. So gonna see how they turn out hopefully they're good fingers crossed hopefully I get them back today too because that would be nice to be able to look at them today but this car that just keeps driving around and I don't know what he's doing also I did a lot of like blurry sort of in the moment photos and I love them I think they turned out so cool I don't know if everyone really loves those types of photos but I think that they look really cool and artsy and just kind of like you know in the moment so they're really good like little filler photos i guess i wouldn't really use them as a photo to promote the product on the website i'd kind of just use it on the instagram to show like photography i'm going to finish up editing some of these photos i have heaps to get through so i'm just going to stop around now <laughs> and go drop off the film to get developed and then when i come back i'm just going to start sewing because I need to get on top of that. She just bought the Mamari mini skirt in the red check. I only have, I think, five left in stock. Saturday at the markets was brilliant. It was um, a really nice day. Had lots of customers. There was like, heaps of people out, which was great. The last two months have just been really quiet and really slow for not only myself, but other small businesses um, and a lot of people that have been at the markets, like other storeholders at the markets have all said that they've just had a really bad couple of months so it's really nice that it started to pick up again that always happens around this time of year February is always pretty slow the same thing happened with me last year and the year before it was all really just slow because everyone's kind of coming off the back of Christmas and New Year's and then January is kind of like trying to play catch up and then February you're just like okay I need to kind of probably stop spending because <laughs> that's the same as with me I haven't done much today I've just kind of been cleaning the house a bit and just catching up on chores I can't believe I just said the word chores um, and then I went to Spotlight before just to get some zippers and some more thread because I'm out of my overlocking thread in the white. So I just picked up some more of that. I normally purchase it wholesale, but you need to have a minimum order requirement. And that's the only thing that I need to buy at the moment. So I don't want to like do it just yet until I really need to order the wholesale version. I did place an order for more white linen fabric and some chocolate brown fabric so that I can do my April maxi dresses and April mini dresses in the chocolate. I might also do the top in the chocolate as well. I'm gonna do a poll on that and see. I probably will, because I think it'd be nice as a top and it's also a different color. I've been doing the cobalt that I have left over as the April top and it's been doing pretty well at the market. So 
I'm going to put that online probably tonight or tomorrow just so I have something else going out um, and then hopefully get a few sales that way as well. But yeah, it's just been a very slow month, which is fine, but also because I'm trying to do other things and have a new collection launch, it's kind of like you need to have those sales coming in so that you can pay for things in the future. Anyway, I'm going to go to the post office now, post this out, and then I'm going to come home and just work on some social media stuff for the week. And yeah. I just got my film back from the shoot that I did with Nat on Friday and a lot of the photos turned out really beautiful. I'll put them on the screen, but most of them are a bit too grainy or like a little bit out of focus. Um, and then some of them are like really green, but for the most part, I think that they turned out really beautiful. I did shoot it on expired film, so a lot of it's either really grainy or just has like a really big green tinge to it. And I'm pretty sure that's just because it's expired film. So I've done a little bit of research and I think it just depends on how the film has been stored will be depending on how like the film kind of reacts when you take the photo. I'm still learning how to use film. So obviously this was just a test and I just wanted to see how these turned out. And most of them are really good. And then there's just a couple in there that I probably won't be using. But I'm super happy with how they turned out. Um, and I'm excited to just do more film photos and test them out. Today I'm gonna spend the day sewing. Um, I have an order that I have to do that I'll probably make and send out this afternoon. I need to go to Spotlight and get a zip for it because it's just a pair of bell linen pants um, and I don't have any more zips, which is annoying. So I'll go do that this afternoon. I'm also gonna do some sampling today because I really need to get on top of that. I'm falling behind. So I'm gonna do that and that'll be my day. for today is to how the space is looking so let me get back to um the most improvement um after I, I need to find a better stool but and then against the wall here I have more time in here and I'm trying to change the space according to that so it's kind of ever changing Okay, I know I look really silly right now, but I'm just trying this top on because this is like the sample of the piece that I want um, to make for the Autumn Winter Collection, one of the pieces at least. And I just, I don't know, this pattern's really frustrating me just because of the elastic. I did it in the cotton fabric because I think that's the fabric that I'll end up using for the finished product. And I wanted to test it in this fabric and hopefully have it finished today but i'm just it's really frustrating me and i don't know how like what i need to fix on it it's kind of the shape but also not the shape like i just don't feel like this is very flattering but like this is the kind of look that i want like the elastic shoulders and the ruffling and everything but i think it just it ends up pulling it all up which we don't want i think this is like sort of how i want it but maybe like a little bit lower like i don't want it to be pulled up all the time like that. I want it to sit about there. And then the back would also need to be down like that. I'm just trying to figure out how to put the elastic because it just kind of bunches it all up so much. So I think I just have to use less elastic and I might even have to make the top a little bit bigger just so you get more of like that ruching and everything, but I can use like a little bit more elastic. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. This is the part of fashion that takes the longest and it really just does my head in. How I envision it 
is perfect and I love it, but then just how I'm making it, it just isn't looking how I want it to look and it's just frustrating. <sighs> it's just the elastic that's just kind of pulling it up and I know that there'll be elastic here that will kind of help cinch it there, but it's still going to be pulled up and I don't know because I keep adding elastic to it, but then if I add too much, you lose all of these ruffles. So I'm trying to figure out how to do it the best way possible. So it's just very frustrating and very time consuming, but we'll get there. I'm going to pack that order that I got yesterday. Um, I already have a pair of the bell pants done up. So I was just going to give them a quick iron um, and then I'll package it up and send it out for Anna, who is a third time returning customer. This is her third order. So thank you, Anna, if you're watching. Yeah, it's always great to get returning customers. It's always good to get new ones, but it's always great when people are coming back and shopping with you again, because it means that they like your stuff and obviously you're doing something right. So I figured out how to do the pattern yesterday. I spent like a stupid amount of time just trying to figure out how to do it exactly how I wanted to. This was the last sample that I ended up with. It's still not the finished product. Um, I'm still going to do another one properly, but it's basically there. The only thing that I have to change is just the sleeves. They need to have more elastic in them. This side's a bit funny looking. This side's pretty much how I want it to be. It's just a little bit like too thin. I want it to be a bit thicker. So I've changed the pattern around. That's going to be a little bit thicker. It's also got more... Um, like length in it, I guess you'd say, just so that when you ruche or when it's got the elastic in it, it's more ruched. I've made it so that this will come down a little bit more here so that you have more space just for your bust as well as have more fabric there. So then you can ruche this a lot more just so that it doesn't kind of look like that, look a bit funny. Um, and then when I do the proper version, this will also be double lined for the white cotton just so that Obviously you won't see anything and you can go braless with it. When I did it, I put the elastic really low, but when I do it properly, I'm gonna have it probably about there-ish, where that sort of is there, it won't look like this. I also dropped the sides here on the underarm, so you'll basically have them down there a bit, just so that they're not so tight on your underarms. And I think that's all. Yeah, ignore this side. That side's not the pretty side. This side's the pretty side. This will also be thinner. It's not going to be this thick. I'm going to do it as a nice little thin piece of fabric rather than this big, thick, chunky piece because it just looks a bit... Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Um, this pattern will also go into a dress, except the sleeves will be different. I won't have them like this. I'll have them as like a nice big puffy sleeve because Maddie's been telling me to do a dress with puffy sleeves. So I'm gonna do a dress with puffy sleeves. So I hope you're happy, Maddie. Now that I've done that, I'm probably gonna work on the dress pattern today, just so that I have that done. And while this is all fresh in my mind, I can kind of figure it out all properly. Okay, something very exciting literally just came then. This came all the way from the UK, which is crazy because that came pretty fast. I thought it was going to come like in another week. It's a pattern grading book that I ordered online to help me do my patterns. Currently when I do my patterns, I just base it off of the sizes and everything. And I just like grade it from that, or I just completely do a whole new piece and I want to do it properly. So this will hopefully help me. This is just a pattern grading book. It basically just has all of the basic bodices and how to grade them between the sizes. So this will hopefully be really helpful for me. So I'm very excited for this. This was a very expensive book though. So I'm just going to make sure that I don't just read it.
don't know if you can hear, but it's actually raining right now. So I think we're going to get a storm. So I finished the dress pattern. I still have to do a sample of it, but I'm going to do that tomorrow because I'm a little bit drained and I just want to be sitting down. I'm pretty much just going to spend the rest of the day finishing off the cotton tree sets that I have to do. Um, I'm going to try and finish all of the ones in white today. So then tomorrow I only have to do the ones that are in black. Tomorrow is Marcus's birthday. If you don't know who Marcus is, that's my boyfriend. Um, but it's his birthday tomorrow. Um, he's working, so we're not really going to be doing much until the afternoon. But his parents are coming down at some point. So I don't think I'll really film tomorrow because they're going to be here. And I don't really want to be filming in front of them. <laughs> I will pick up and film on Saturday when I'm doing the market. So I'll film more behind the scenes of that, hopefully. Um, and then I'm leaving there at like 11 o'clock because I'm going down to Brisbane to go to my friend's birthday dinner. So I'll try and film a little bit more on Saturday for you guys. Um, and I hope that this vlog is a little bit more interesting than my previous vlogs because I know that a lot of it is probably really p repetitive of me just like sewing and going to the markets like I hope that this one's just a little bit more interesting with like the pattern making and everything I'm trying to get more confident with vlogging but it is kind of a scary thing to do so be patient with me so yeah I'm gonna spend the rest of the day sewing and then I have to work on my other job tonight as well so 